guys, it's your girl Keiko Alingas, and today the product I'll be looking at is this guy, the iFlash Drive by PhotoFast. Now this may look like a regular USB flash drive, but it's a lot more than that. While most standard USB drives allow you to transfer documents from one computer to another, the iFlash drive does allow you to do that, but it also allows you to transfer those documents to and from mobile devices as well. As you can see, it has a wide variety of connectors that allows it to function across multiple platforms. Mac or PC, iPhone or Android, you name it. Without the need of a Wi-Fi connection or cloud service, you're able to securely send practically any document or media file from a phone to a tablet, tablet to computer, and so on. Capacity-wise, the iFlash drive comes in multiple sizes. For the purpose of this demo, I'll be working with the 16 gig I have here. But one very important step before we get started is that I have to take a selfie. Don't judge. But no, the picture I just took will serve as a main media file that I'll be transferring from device to device. The first thing you want to do is simply download the iFlash Drive app onto your mobile device. As you can see in my case, I'm using my iPhone 5. In order to connect to it, I'll go ahead and throw the lightning adapter onto the iFlash Drive itself and then connect that to my phone. As you can see, the once grayed out external storage option, aka the iFlash Drive, popped up. Other things we see on the home screen are contact backup, local storage, and Dropbox. Now, if you ever lost or broke your phone like I have in the past, then backing up your contacts is a must. Using it here in the iFlash Drive app is extremely easy. Just tap on Contact Backup, then hit Backup on the next screen and transfer is underway. Now that that's done, let me check my external storage tab. And there's my contacts folder. While we're on this page, you'll see that I preloaded a couple of media files on here. So with those, I want to show you that the iFlash Drive is not only good for transferring documents, but as you'll see with this video file, viewing them as well. Hey, it's your girl Keiko Lingus, and today I've got something a little different for you guys. Definitely a nice option to have when you need to free up space on your phone or tablet. And now with the MP3, since it's a smaller file, I want to go ahead and transfer that from the iFlash Drive to my phone. So I'll go ahead and click Edit on the top right of the screen, check the MP3 file, and below you'll see I've been given three options. Delete, Move, and Copy. In this case, I'll copy it. And then I'll go ahead and select Local Storage. Copy here. And there we go. And just for the hell of it, I'll save a backup of that song into my Dropbox folder. So under Local Storage, I'll hit Edit again, select the MP3 file, copy, and now put into my Dropbox. And I'll just copy here directly into it. Okay, last but not least, let's get back to that selfie. Again, we want to get that onto the iFlash Drive so we can transfer it to other devices. What I want to do next is press the plus sign on the bottom of the screen. And you can see we have several things we can do. Create a new folder, new text, import from library, clipboard, or do a voice recording. In this case, I want to import the picture from the phone library. Next, select camera roll. There's that selfie. Once I select, I'll hit done. And in the next screen, we can actually choose the quality of the picture we want to transfer. Of course, I want full size and full quality. And there it is now in my external storage folder. All right, so now I'm done with my iPhone. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the iFlash Drive app and yank it out. So the first device I want to transfer it to is my iPad. Since this one is only second generation, it still has a 30 pin connector. So I'll go ahead and remove the lightning adapter to get to it. And that goes into the iPad itself. So to get to that selfie, we'll start with external storage. There's the picture, so I'll go ahead and select it. So you'll see here that the picture automatically opens up and on the bottom right, there's a flower icon, which essentially is a save to camera roll option. And there we go. The picture is now on the camera roll on my iPad. And last but not least, I wanna get this image to my computer. So again, exit out of the app, pull the iFlash drive out, and this time I'll stick the USB end of the device to my MacBook Pro. And just like any flash drive, it mounts right on my desktop. So the final thing I want to do is open up the iFlash Drive folder, drag the selfie to my desktop, and there we go. 
All right, there's definitely a lot more we can do with this guy, whether you want to securely transfer files across devices or simply free up space on your phone or tablet, the iFlash drive is definitely something you want to carry around. For more information or direct purchase links to this product, log on to our website at gearaddicts.com. I'm Keiko Olingas, and I'll check you guys out next time. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. For even more videos from Gear Addicts, be sure to subscribe to us right here on our YouTube channel. And for more information on the product featured in this video, click on the link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.